What, what is this clip? Did I miss something? Buddies, courtesy of our mods, wandering bishop and um and a need. So let me load that. We'll do that. How do my Tesla calls do? They're doing badly, but I also sold <laughs> even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i said tesla calls that you heard it as yeah that's good i like it good one very very well done well done you guys um all right okay let's see okay i'm gonna play here let me refresh actually i need to refresh my browser um let me change it out of dark mode let me refresh it Okay, let's go C6 here. Play D5. Play H2. I'm going to go A6 and B5 here, I think. Um, I feel like I played this guy last week or something. He played really well. Um, I can take and play Knight F6 here, maybe. Everybody, let's please ask him why he's not in Sochi. Okay, if you, if you, you know, if too many people start asking that, at some point we're gonna start handing down the bands. Oh, I heard, I heard more moves. Let me mute this tab as well. Okay, let's go here and hit the pawn on a two. I can obviously just take. Giving odds and titles, who's it? Not really, but uh, I'm trying. I mean, it's like, yeah, trying to play. Can play a5 here. I can also go queen d5. I mean, knight d7 also is quite reasonable, I think. Be careful how I do this. I've had this line many, many times online. But also taking a queen a5, actually. No, that's not good. Let's just go here. Thank you to Faru Lime for the two months. Thank you so much to Faru Lime. To appreciate it. Thank you, man. I did win the bot contest yesterday. I actually did. So I was I was very happy with that result. Um, I do still have bishop d5. I have c5 as well here, which is kind of interesting. But I'm just going to go here and play knight c4, I guess. I mean, I have g5, and I'm still okay because I can put the king on h8. I do have to be careful how I play this. Um, but I think it's okay for me. I also have some kind of weird rook a7 maybe as well. I guess I'll just pre move. It's a safe pre move, so no reason not to play it. So I won $1,500. I think it was $2,000 when it all was said and done. But yeah. Okay, h6, I go king h8, of course. Yeah, I think I go here. Plays a3. I can go queen d5 here, maybe. I want to go queen a2. Queen a2 looks kind of dangerous with knight a4 as well. And if he goes b3, I think I go a5, a4, and he has a lot of problems. Do have queen a2, but then knight g5, maybe? Rook f8 or rook a8? I think I'll play here because I, I still have Queen A2 lurking. Did I order the pineapple suit? Not yet. No, actually, thanks for that reminder. I, I, I will take care of that, I guess, later today. I heard that Danny's scheduling events wasn't that great. Also, you found the World Cup. Magnus is fighting for his life. Yeah, I am following the World Cup. Uh, yeah, I, I spoke about it yesterday. I, I basically, what I said, one second, let me figure this out. I have to be careful how I play this. I can play rook d8 one second. I have queen a2. This is kind of dangerous. He plays knight e5. Actually, why did I allow that shoot? Oh, this could be really bad. I might have just blundered. Shoot. My knight on b6 is hanging, I just realized. Bishop e4 is a threat, so I guess I could just go... Go here. Be very careful how I play this. I'm in real danger in this game.
So if bishop e4, I go queen e6. Just queen g3. That's an interesting move. Um, I can't take there. I can actually move my bishop to e6, though, maybe. It's actually very dangerous. Do I have queen a2? Maybe I do. Bishop c8 to move. Oh, this is actually very dangerous. Here, maybe? I might be losing here. I don't think I am, but I might be. Got no time, which is important. Wait, so I still can't take. If I move my rook here. No, no, no. Wait a second. Think. I'm going to go here. Okay, I'm hitting a pawn on a3. I can also take, maybe? This is quite dangerous. Um, trying to get a checkmate here. Oh, but it's not me. Uh, it's not checkmate, though. Not checkmate. Oh, shoot. Thought it was checkmate, but it's not. I can't flag him. He's got too much time. Unless I can play rookie four. Nah, it's just it's just too risky. It's just way too risky. No, I it's it's too it's too early. It's too early. It's too early to gamble. It's just too early to gamble. I probably missed I probably had something right about like here. Maybe I had rookie oh, I had rookie 4. Maybe I had rookie 4. Un Wait, no, he takes. I had something there, but whatever. I think Palea for the prime thing to RVD for the prime super staff for the two months. Thank you so much. I had something. I don't know what I had, but I had something. Why couldn't I just do pawn takes? Because um, uh, pawn takes. Oh well, pawn takes here. I get made because after queen g five, there are two checkmates. I can't stop them both. Rook takes bishop in the center. You had it. Um, I don't think I did actually. No, I actually just don't think I had it. It's just a, yeah. He, it was it was just a good game by him. He played well. Um, but it's it's still a draw. And again, uh. And again, it's round one, and there are only 438 players. So it's a pretty low field yet again uh, with not a lot of players. And that's the other thing as well. If this, I, if this was a 700-player like, event, I probably would have done something and lost the game. But with 438 players, it, it makes sense to kind of... kind of um, A draw is not a big deal. So you'll get 10.5 points. Well, we'll see. It's going to be a long event. But an early draw actually means that uh, I, should be, I should be in good shape and get some easier pairings. Thank you, Nubinator, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you to Tiger Clown for the 13. Yeah, he played well. Yeah, he played well. I mean, not much I could do. He played well, and I played kind of a, an opening that was quite dubious. The match started? Uh, no, my, my game didn't start. No, I, I'm not watching the Magnus game. I mean, like, I let's watch this one. What's going on? This game is actually headed for a draw, by the way. King C6. So Andraken also draws the game as well very early. Wow. So Andraken, hmm, he also draws his first round. Esipenko is a great position again, really? Really? Um, let me let me pull it up. What's what's going on here? Um I mean Esipenko is very slightly better, but it's it's not a big advantage. Yeah, it's it's a small small advantage. Not much going on. So, yeah, not doesn't look like anything super special. At, le at least as far as I can tell, it's very slightly better. Very slightly better. Uh, no, I did not play in the World Cup. 
Okay, here we go, round two. We play in 1993, okay? So we, we get a soft pairing. The only problem I realized was by playing soft player, soft pairings, I probably will have very bad tie breaks in this event as well. There's A6. I'm going to play Queen E2, maybe E5 at some point. Let's drop back. Do I have some Knight G5 here? I mean, I kind of want to, but it's Title Tuesday, so I can't. I shouldn't really gamble here. If this was just a classic Blitz game, I would totally just sack and go for the kill. But I don't know if it works here. Knight G5, King, eight, six, Queen D7, Knight G7, King F7. I'm sure. I'm sure I would win if I do it, but I, I, I don't. I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to play H4 here, maybe H5. It goes H6. I'm going to go E5. Just try to blast the center here to smithereens. With knight e5, put pressure, goes e6, that's a good move. Um, play here, maybe to hit the pawn. I, I really want to go like, okay, goes d5. Now, I guess I should play like c3, takes maybe h5 at some moment, depending. Plays queen e7, I'm going to go a5 here. I want to go bishop a4 check at some point. Also, queen e7 is a bad move, because now the knight can't develop and you can't castle here. C5, I can obviously take. I can also check. I can also take. I think I'm just going to take and castles probably and go like rook C1. Should be better. It's not like it's special or anything, but I should be better here. Just go here, I guess. I want to take and go like bishop D2 maybe. There's also bishop E3 to trap the queen if he goes here. A little bit sketchy for black. Thanks so much to Scooch for the five months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Scooch. Yeah, it's a 1900. Yeah, 1900. Okay, Queen E7's is not, not a great move. I have Knight D4 here. I think I'm just going to go here, though. Put massive pressure on the Knight with this diagonal and... After queen e7, I think it's probably too far gone. To There's no way to come back. Should be, should be really, really good. Magnus more or less equalized. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I would say uh, for like an Italian endgame, not, not that it's easy, but like you can't really, saying that, that Magnus is losing is like not, Italians, there are a lot of positions where it's like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 for white. But you can eat one wrong move, and it's an easy equalization. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. Trade, go here. Rook c1, bishop c5. Should be pretty cleanly winning. Thank you, Jim Pickens, for the two months. Thank you, Big X23, for the 24 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Big X. Any plans to play Valorant this week? Actually, I don't know, because this Meltwater event is starting on Saturday. Let's go here. Maybe Rook c1. Have you noticed how H5 has become a very popular move in modern chess? H4 and H5 bo both moves have become really commonplace. Yeah. Oh, let's go here. I mean, there's a meltwater event starting on starting on Saturday, so I would say it's it's unlikely. But I'm not opposed to. I, I kind of want to do some. I want to do some variety, but I have just haven't. I never get around to it somehow. Oh, uh, will Anna and Levy be on for meltwater? No, it'll be covered by. Um, it's going to be covered by. Uh, by Maria Maria Milianova. She's going to be covering at least the early rounds. I think she's going to be covering it. So she'll she'll be doing the early rounds. Um, let's see. I can take and go queen c two. Take and go. I somehow I thought queen c two is winning, but it just is not. So I'm going to go b four here. I actually am not playing this game great. I'm going to go b5 and take, I guess. Still winning, but not great. Yeah, the TSM Valor team plays in a big qualifier. Right, the qualifier for is it Berlin, I think. Oh, do I have this unmuted? I have it unmuted. Uh, by the way, Magnus is completely winning, by the way. So, yeah, Magnus is going to win his win his game. Or his match, I should say. Uh, let's see. I can play a6. Go here and take. Uh, am I going to do commentary on Pog Channels 4? No, I'm not intending to do any commentary. I sp I've spoken about it a few times already. 
uh what i would say quite simply about it is that the scheduling of the event they put it right over the top of the next meltwater event which i'm going to be competing in and um, i just won't have the time frankly so i can play queen d7 or rook b7 here uh i think i go here maybe it's actually very tricky very very tricky I can play like bishop e3 queen d7 maybe a7 I've actually really butchered this game again. Yeah, I should be making a queen, but like I, I, I've kind of misplayed this. Asabango Carlson seems to be over. Thank you, Jeremy PMPM for the two. Thank you to Mateus ABB for the prime. Yeah, I mean, expecting expecting Asipenko to to come back, I think is expecting too much. Um, I think this should be winning. Yeah, this should be winning. Magnus is winning the tournament, yeah. Did Magnus win yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Magnus has a knife on F4. Easy win, yeah. Easy win for Magnus. Okay, took my took that. I take this. I have to be a little bit careful how I play because there is Bishop F2. But I still think I can go here and then Queen B2 and just win. So I have this check. Now I just take the bishop. Props to Asipenko. He played very well. Yeah, I mean he's. Let's go back. Let's uh, let's let's go back to this. Okay, what do what do we have here? Um, I mean, do we have more moves or not? We do. We do have another move. Rook, Rook takes d8 is played. Did I see that Amin won? Yeah, I did see that he beat Hike Marta Rose in. Really, really. Really impressive performance by him in this whole event. Espenko will be a problem going forward. You never really know who's going to improve, but I think I think with his performance here, Espenko has definitely shown that he is a competitor down the road. He has shown that that he can play against Magnus. He beat Magnus, of course, in in Tata Steel, and with his results here, he's very clearly shown that. Um, oh, whoa! Knight H three or Knight D three? I mean, something something bad is going to happen. I just don't know where, but something bad should be happening. I guess, like, I would guess knight d3. I mean, knight h3, I guess knight h3 is king g2. So probably knight d3, king g2. And then I don't know how you finish. Maybe queen e3, knight e1 is an idea. But it feels like after knight e3, there's no way Magnus is going to lose this game. Like, Magnus is not going to lose here. Um, king g2, queen e3, and knight e1 looks like the way to win. So so I, I would say that, uh, that, that Magnus will advance. But in general terms, yes. Uh, Andre Asipenko is a very strong player. He's shown that he can compete with the best. And I'll be excited to see his future down the road. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's all bad. There's queen c4 here. I think it's there just rook d8 and knight f2 is a threat. Yeah, I mean, it's just too much. And the knight on h2 is bad. Unless you can get some magic with g5, knight g4, queen h2, you're not going to win this game. Going on a run, can you wait 40 minutes to start the next match so I can watch? I'm afraid that I cannot do that. Um, uh, there is a set clock and timer, so that's how it goes. So it's, uh, I, can't, I can't really wait 40 minutes. Sorry. But yeah, we will, we will, we will be playing, of course, in Title Tuesday. But um, in between the games, we're going to watch this. Because I, I think this is the last one, right? Okay, so Maxime lost to Sergey. Oh, Maxime lost to Sergey, right? That's actually a big, big blow. Oh, so there are a lot of Russians still in this. How, how many Russians are left? You have um, Fedosev is left. You have, uh, I guess you have Fedosev. Maybe you only have Fedosev and, and, um, and uh, is Fedosev the only one? And Sergei. Because actually the other one's lost, right? There was Grishuk. There was Grishuk who was alive. There was, um, there, there was Asipenko. There were four Russians, I guess, going in. So it's, it's down, to, down to two. And Savidler also, so there were five Russians and three of them lost. Yeah. Okay, so now I guess you go g5, knight g4, but again, you're down two pawns here. There's just no way. Why don't I stream on YouTube? Uh, I am a I'm a partner Twitch streamer. You're not allowed to stream on, on YouTube. So pretty pretty simple answer. Uh Saj on Esapenko, yeah, it's, it's Saj, but I mean he's put up, he's had a great result. He came back in the first must-win game earlier. And, uh, oh, oh, is he getting a sliver of hope? Is he getting a sliver of hope with knight g4 here? Wait, is he getting a sliver of hope, maybe? I don't think it works, but I was just thinking maybe he gets some, maybe, it feels like there's just a very slight sliver of hope here. A very slight sliver of hope. Probably nothing, but still. Yeah, you go like knight g4, and then knight e4, and it's, you don't have anything, but almost, almost.
Espengel probably wants to qualify for candidates. Well, I mean, obviously he does. Like he's, I mean, a lot of it is luck though in terms of where you're being being placed. Classical chess being decided by rapid and blitz. I mean, I've spoken about this before. In the previous world championship match, you had a situation where the match was drawn in classical chess. 12, 12 draws, no decisive games. And um, and then it was decided when when Magnus beat Fabiano 3-0 in rapid chess. And that alone kind of, to me, proves the point that like, I, I don't know. Classical chess, there there definitely are issues with it or with the formats because it's true. You you have you have this match where it's being decided in rapid and blitz instead of classical. My game did not start yet. No, there's still are games going apparently. Quite a few, in fact. So let's go back here. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, let's change the scene. Let me let me see. Yeah, it's, it's all over. I'm going to close this. So let's let's just get back here. Okay, let's play. Oh, we're playing Lawrence Trent. Okay, this is funny. Actually, is it cut off or not? Is my board cut? It's cut a little bit, right? Just a little bit, it looks like. Second. Actually, why am I giving people time mods? I just realized. I shouldn't be. Anyway, um, okay, let's go bishop g7. Another easy pairing, hardly. Lawrence is a very strong, very strong player. Um, let's go here. Esabengo just resigned. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, this is not a great pairing, actually. Yeah, Magnus won. Okay, not surprising. We, I think we all kind of expected it. Okay. He's going to go like knight h3, knight g5, I guess. And I'm going to go here, here, and then like knight f6 or something. Hit the pawn on h4 here. So he has to play knight g5, and then I go knight d7. Uh, he hangs pawn on h4, which is kind of interesting. Is this intentional or is Lawrence just? I wonder if this is intentional. I'm gonna go b4. I, I can't. I can't imagine this is intentional. But let's see. When I go back. I guess I'll go here, knight d7 and c5. I assume that trading this h pawn for the b pawn is good because I can use this. Uh, I can use this file. Whereas I don't think he can use his use the other file. So I'm gonna go here. I could be wrong on this. I mean, maybe he can go g4. I mean, who knows? Definitely interesting. Okay, play c4. So, of course, I go c5. He's going to play d5, I guess. And then I go, like, knight e5. Or I can obviously trade if I want. I don't really want to. Um, I think I'm just going to go here and rook b8. I think it's GM Pakleza for the, for the raid with 338. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to uh, Zbigniew Pakleza, the one and only. Now, the question is, do I put the bishop on 8 or c8? My instinct says that I should put the bishop on c8, probably, to play on this diagonal down the road. I also have pressure on b2. I think you did Davy, Davy, Davy for the five months. Okay, so I'm going to obviously trade here. i got to clarify the situation a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, we, 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 we did get that. Um, I can go 95 here, maybe. It's a very, very weird position. I don't really understand what's going on. Kind of very strange. It's like he gave the H pawn for this B pawn. I'm gonna go um and play H4. 95 knight g4 is obviously a move here. I don't know if I like it. I can also castle. I think I'm just gonna castle. Because if he plays bishop h6, I'm gonna trade and take on b2. I don't I don't believe that this works for him. So we'll see. Okay, bishop g5, logical move. I can play f6 if I want. f6, g5, h4, maybe. I assume, though, that I, I want to keep this... I want to keep this diagonal open. The bishop needs to go to, like, d4. Like, maybe even rook b4, queen b7. Okay, plays f4. That's a good move. I expect that. I have bishop d4, maybe. I have knight f8, knight h7 as well. Maybe queen b7 here. I don't actually like my position that much. I'm going to go here, though. Maybe just knight. I just blunder e5. Instead of queen e7. Plays f5, which I think is wrong. I think e5 is the right push. Now, if I take, he takes, and I go like knight g6, maybe. I guess I'll just take and go knight g6. 
Go here, put the knight on g6, take with the bishop. I think I'm okay, but I'm not playing this wonderfully. Who has more of a chance to become a GM, Trent or Lawrence? Uh, Lawrence, for sure. Lawrence Lawrence has played against top-level players already in his career. He has draws against Kramnik, Savidler, I think, in classical chess as well. So he has a lot of draws um, already. So Trent, Trent is a lot closer to GM than Levy is. And that's not, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to flame Levy, but that's just the reality. Um, cause Lawrence has played like really, he's played some really strong players and, um, and, uh, he's just, he's a very strong player. That being said, he's misplayed this game a little bit. Maybe more than a little. I, I'm not even sure Lawrence is, a, is better anymore. Cause now his bishops look good, but they don't have squares. And I've got this great, I've got two open files here. Now I have bishop d4 and queen e7 even. Um... Like, I can take if I want. I don't want to take. I also have rook b4. I can also just check. Let's just check and go queen e7. I'm going to go queen h4, start attacking myself here. And I think I'm better. Why am I so much higher rate at daily chess and blitz? Because in daily chess, you have a lot more time to think. Okay, bishop h3, I can go queen h4, of course. It goes g3. I don't know, g3 felt like a bad move somehow, but maybe it's not. Knight f6, he's got what? Bishop g5? Knight f6 is a move. Queen e5 is also probably a good move. I have to be very careful how I play this, but I think this is fine. Because I'm going to go queen h8 and knight f6. There's also queen g3, maybe. I'm very close to winning with rook b2 here, but it's not quite winning. I also queen b7 maybe, but I feel like I'm... I'm going to go here so I have knight f6 and knight e5. I have multiple knight jumps now. He's also got, like, very limited time here. Knight e5, knight c4 looks good. This bishop f5, wow. Um, looks wrong. I can go here because takes. I just take. Bing the rook. I think I have knight g five or something. Oh, let's just go here. I got him. I got to move. What am I doing? I go here and now there are no checks. Queen g two. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I got to move. What am I doing? What am I doing? I just have to move. What am I doing? Okay, win the game on time. He flags. Very, very bad game. Thank you, Luke Zen Gamer, for the seven. Thank you, not so much to learn for the prime. Thank you so much. Very, very bad game. Uh, thank you to Quick Rose for a seven. Uh, if I take the take the work on h4, he takes. I'm actually in trouble. Did he? For, I mean, he probably forget his forgot his timer. He's still trying to find a good move versus just moving instantly on, with the flow there. But, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, we got the win. Magnus won. Yes, Magnus did win. Um, Magnus did win his match. Yep. Was Bishop F8 not winning? I'm sure he had a win in somewhere in these last couple of moves. I think we both had wins. Let me see what I did wrong, though. Right about here, there should have been something that I missed. Let me see. Right, Not, not here at the end, but right here. Felt like right about here, uh, I was just supposed to take on C3. Yeah, and then, okay, what's the win? Rook B2. Yeah, Rook B2 and Knight G5, right? I assume takes, takes, Knight G5. I was just winning. Very, very bad. Very, very bad by me. But whatever. We got the win and we move on. And I'm not playing great, but we're we're just still we're still in the hunt. Thank you to Rukana for the prime. Thank you to MD MD Harma for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Backseat game is when someone decides to tell you that you know that you missed a win somewhere or your opponent missed a win. Okay, what's going on? Joss Caster is playing Shigami. Caster is losing this game, it looks like. G4, G3. Or check in G3. Yeah, G3, and then takes in Rook D2, and you lose the game. 
What happened if I took the rook? Uh, thank you to Ashwin for the prime. There would be pawn takes and there's a checkmate. Uh, will I be coaching next pod champs? No, I will not be. Um, I basically already spoke about it. Uh, what I what I said is that I'm playing in the Meltwater tournament at the same time. The tournaments are going to be overlapping, unfortunately. So if you look at previous pod champs events or you look at previous events in general, there was separation of spacing out, and now there are tournaments just ending up all on top of each other. And I have to I have to pick my I have to you know choose my priorities. And playing in the next Meltwater tournament obviously takes priority over pod champs. Okay, so let's oh man, this is round four. Let's play Knight of Three here. Am I proud about Shankland? Yes, I am very proud of Sam. He's having a great event. Great results so far. Um, play E3, D4, C4. Hope you don't mind if I watch Pog Champs over Meltwater. No, of course, obviously. Um, but the point is, like, I do want to I do want to play in these tournaments. So, like, I've, I plan my schedule around the Meltwater events, just in general. I have E4. I guess I'll go here. The bishop's on e7 here. It should be on d6. What's up with Dania? What do you mean, what's up with Dania? I know what you mean by that. Dania's been doing a lot of commentary on the World Cup, but what, what do you mean, what's up with him? Did something happen? It's just castle here. I guess I'll go rook b1 and b4. G4. I think I'm going to play queen c2. I'm going to let him take and go like king h1 and rook g1. Yeah, Dania's doing commentary right now. I, I, I'm a little confused. What, what's the question? I guess I take with the bishop. I'm just going to go here on b4, b5 maybe. So here, I definitely want to play the minority attack if I can. Go here and take. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know what you guys are referring to. I mean, I guess he has some knight a6 maybe. But I, I like my position here. I think I'm doing well. So I can play b5 or takes. I can play b5 here. I can also just play bishop d2. I can also rotate my knight. Where does, does I want my knight on c5 or where do I want my knight here? I don't think I want to go b5. I don't really think I want to let him go b5 either. So I think I'm going to rotate my knight maybe. I can play h3. I don't think this is a threat yet. It could be a threat soon though. So maybe I just go, I'm going to go g3. Don't love my position yet again. Not happy with almost any position I've gotten so far in this event. Is there a favorite pro that you'd like to play against? I um, I probably would say that my favorite player to play against was Kramnik. I love playing against Kramnik, especially like in the later years. Uh, Kramnik was like, he was someone who always tried to play really exciting, entertaining chess with both colors. And out of all the people I've played against, he was the guy that I, I, I would say I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed a lot of my battles against him. Like it was just a lot of fun playing against Big Blood. Yeah, I guess I'll... What am I doing? I guess I'll just go here. Maybe rook c1. Maybe f3 is... Okay. Ah, he wants to put the knight on c4. Okay, so I guess I rotate. Go here, knight, rook a1, of course. I have to avoid the fork. And then I put the knight on c5. Ah, that's why I went rook c8 was to go b5. I should, I should have actually seen that. He wants to go queen h3. I guess I just go here to stop this. Obviously, trade again, not really happy with my position. I'm gonna go here and take, I guess. I don't know why Big Vlad suddenly retired. Oh, he retired because, um, I think because he had already accomplished all that he really felt that he, he, he could probably. That's what I would say. I mean, he's the world champion, one of the greatest players of all time. I mean, I think his, his record speaks for itself. He goes G5. I don't know if I like G5, definitely a reasonable idea, although. I feel like there's got to be some way for me to stop it. Like, I don't really want to play h3 here. I think I'll do it anyway, and I hope that I'm not getting checkmated. I don't think I am. Okay, so somehow I have to reroute my pieces here. Go here. Hopefully there's not, not a blunder or something, but I can just take with the king. Okay, I guess I don't want to trade. How do I do this? This is actually very hard to play. Another very unpleasant position for me. Go here and bishop f1, maybe. Go here. If g4, I guess I go h4. If I get the bishop to g2, I get a fianchetto. I'm probably okay here. Let's just get the fianchetto. And now he's start. I feel like he's starting to misplay this just a little bit. Um, like very slightly. Okay, I guess. Oh wait, no, I can't. Okay, let's go here, maybe. Go here, I guess. 
not really doing anything exciting here. I'm just going to basically shuffle my pieces around. At some point, go rook a1, I guess. Okay, let's trade and let's go here. Let's just play this. For here, I want to hold all the pawns. Very tough to win this position. I can play g4. I think I will play g4 now because without the uh, rooks on the board, there are no ideas of batteries to checkmate. It's queen d8. Queen b8. Okay, logical. So I guess he wants to trade the rooks. Makes a lot of sense. I do have e4 ideas somewhere here, though. We'll go here. Let's trade. Hard to win this. Um, I figure if anyone can win, it should be white with the two bishops long term. If I can get pawns going, especially because he, he has this double stack. Any updates on St. Louis? Is it still on? I honestly don't know. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with the Grand Chess Tour. Go here. Bring the king in. Hey, chess for the raid with 4280. Thank you so much to chess for the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to chess. Hope you hope those of you who are enjoying um were enjoying um enjoying the FIFA World Cup are having a good afternoon wherever you are in the wide world. Uh we're we're playing in a, we're playing in title Tuesday, and it's not actually going so well right now, but we're we're trying to uh, we're trying to put it together. I'm gonna go E4. Actually, maybe I just go here in F3. It's just it's not really going the way I was hoping it would. But yeah, I hope all of you who are watching the World Cup with Ben and uh, Ben and Daniel enjoyed it. We're here playing entitled Tuesday, $750 first prize. Blitz chess nonstop. Um, and that's, it is what it is, as the saying goes. He's trying to put the knight on A4, I guess. But even if he gets to A4, there's, there's really no rerouting, though. Even if he goes here, I just go like... This actually cause me any problems because I, I don't understand what he's doing wait i can't move my king what am i doing i guess theoretically i can take at some point but i need to get f4 in okay let's go here moving too slowly go here maybe I'm trying to get my king around to a better square too he's gonna go check again Gonna, I've got to go for it now. Oh, he goes king e6. I thought he would play something else there. Oh, man. I've got no time again, though. Uh, let's go here. Trying to get something. Okay, I guess I go here. Go here. I just blundered again. Ah, jeez. This is not my day today. Really not my day. There's nothing I can do here. It's just a draw. Hmm. Just a draw. Getting clapped? Yeah, that's... If, if a draw is what it means, that's fine, dude. But seriously. Okay, I'm just going to send off a ban. Goodbye, dude. Seriously. Goodbye. Goodbye, dude. Um. Yeah, a draw, a draw is the end of the world. Like, seriously. <laughs> a draw is the end of the world, yes. Like, seriously, dude. What's your problem? Um, anyway, game ends in a draw. I think Andres Escobar, just not really a good game. Still kind of in it. It's only two draws out of the first, what, four games, but haven't really played well so far. Haven't played well. Thank you to Nathan Casper with Prime, Nick, Nick RBA. I mean, I was probably very lucky not to lose that game. He didn't really, he didn't really convert it. I think, um, maybe I had something around, probably it's already, it was it's very hard to win. Once I let him get B5, Knight B6, probably there wasn't much, but happens. Oh, I'm not salty at all. I just... I mean, I'm not in the mood for it. 
Uh, also, that's not understanding. Uh, not understanding the terminology. Clap to me, you're losing, not drawing. Drawing at 2700 means getting clapped. Then um, uh, you get, you need to go go look at your dictionary of uh, of Twitch Twitch uh, Twitch grammar. Anyway, um, yeah. So not much I could have done in this game. Just I mean, maybe 97 I can do something else like Bishop here, but I still feel like after Bishop A5, it's just yeah. Also, Bahadir is underrated. Yeah, he is very underrated. His rating should be um. He's like currently 2711. His rating should be like 2830, 2840. So I was also not thrilled by that. Not thrilled by that pairing either. It's just not a great, not a great pairing. Not much more needs to be said. I think you've forgotten as Azan for the Prime. Thinking Mr. Warlock with the Prime. Thank you so much. But happens. All right. Um, it is what it is, and we're on three out of four. Not great, but if I if I can win some games and get get the get the get the tempo going, then good things can still happen. So easier pairings, yeah. But I mean. It's going to be hard to tell. 415 players. I'm, I mean, 10 points probably still is good enough to win. But I just have to win every game. That's all. Just a game. Why you got to be so mad? I'm not annoyed by the game itself. I mean, the, the game, he played well. What can I say? He played well. He, he had a clear clear target of just being solid. And um, I didn't get much. Has nothing to do with the, the game itself. But it is what it is. I'm going to take a break. And I will be right back, you guys. Because I think that we have a six-minute break after this round. All right, you guys. We're back. Thank you to Royal T for the six months. Thank you to Broken Monitors for the 28 months. Appreciate it. Once again, you guys, we are playing in Title Tuesday. This is Title Tuesday. It is sponsored by none other than G Fuel, you guys. Make sure to check out the G Fuel website. Use code Hikaru. You can get up to 30% off on various G Fuel flavors, such as PewDiePie or otherwise. So make sure to use um, make sure to use uh, use code Hikaru when you go to G Fuel. Fuel up for your streams, work, whatever you're doing. Get that, get that extra energy boost. Um, for for your day so make sure to use make sure to use uh cody car with g fuel we need new sponsors good one you guys um g fuel they, they are probably the most prominent sponsor i think on on twitch you see them you see them kind of everywhere five six can't five out of six can't be possible after two draws yes it can be because i could win every game five out of six could i could get to five out of six i'm on three points out of four so if i win my next two games i get to five points out of six um, so, so yeah, it's not actually, it's not that, that insane. My favorite flavor is probably guava or PewDiePie. I like both those flavors. I mean, I, I have some other flavors here as well, but those are probably my two favorite. You ready for that seven game win streak? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. I just feel very slow this morning, slow and sluggish, but, uh, but anyway, we'll see. Will there be a Hikaru flavor? I don't know. I am still using Brave. They're not a sponsor of the stream, but I am using I am still using I am still using Brave. Yeah. If both players were to play 100 percent actually, white player always has the advantage. No, it would be a draw. It would be a draw. Yeah, it would be a draw. So that that's what I'd say. You're brave? <laughs> Good one. Uh is Magnus out of the world out of the World Cup? No, he's still in it. He beat um he beat uh he beat Andreas Penko today. They had a Bulls books for the prime. Thank you so much. Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I assume Magnus is probably the big favorite to win. But what I would say is I haven't looked at the bracket. Maybe I'll do that since we're on the break right now. If I look at the bracket of who's who is um who's who's playing on the other side, there is a big chance for someone to make the people who are left have a huge chance. Because um, because Magnus is already guaranteed to play in the next next uh, candidates tournament, even if he loses the match. So basically, if you're on the other side, there's a good chance that two people will make it. Will will have a shot to get into the candidates. So I I haven't looked at the bracket to see what it is, but uh, let me see if I can find it. I don't actually see it. Where where is it? Where is a good bracket? Um, go to Wikipedia. Easiest easiest one to do. Okay, let's see. So if I, if I pull it up, uh, where's the bracket? Yeah, so it looks like Magnus, um, they only have it through the fourth round. Where's the fifth round? Okay, there we go. So it's Magnus versus Bakro, Sergey versus Sam, and Fedose versus Amin. So there's a huge opportunity on that side. Uh, yeah, Fedose and Karyakin, I mean, like, are, are probably the favorites to make it through. Uh, it would be really funny, actually, if if Sergey, if Sergey, after basically being everyone's like Sergey, he shouldn't get invites, shouldn't play in tournaments, and all these other things, actually goes uh, goes and qualifies for the candidates again. Am I surprised by Sergey's performances? He hasn't played so much since the last time. Not really, actually. Um, 
I think I think as far as Sergey is concerned, he's always been a very solid player, very stable. And in an event like the World Cup, the more stable you are, um, the, the more stable you are, the better chances you have of, of going really deep in the World Cup. That's what I would say. So it's it's not too surprising for me. Am I surprised by Esapenko's performance? Honestly, not really. I've, 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 I mean, Esapenko has shown that he's a very, very strong player, so I'm not really that surprised. Not surprised at all by his performance. Okay, we're in round five here. Okay, this is... Okay, get a stronger opponent. Well, I guess not... Okay, we're gonna keep playing G six every game here now. At this point, pretty much I have to win out. I, I don't think there's I, I don't think there's anything else really that needs to be said. I just have to win every game. Go E five, probably knight F six next move. Yeah, there, there's I mean there's no no nothing else to it. I basically have to win every game. So draws are not gonna get it done here. Um, and actually, if I get in a situation where I have a draw or a draw or lose the game, I have to go for the loss rather than the draw because the draw is not going to be enough here. For sure, it's not going to be enough. Uh, Amin, Amin could beat Fedosev. Yeah, absolutely. I could see him beating beating Fedosev. Do you agree they gave Timor a spot in the candidates? I see nothing wrong with it. To me, it seems completely fine. I'm going to go here on Bishop B7. Not really sure why I didn't do this right away, why I put the queen on E7, but I did. Um, go here. Let's see what's it gonna do. I have a six here of g5. This is a4. That's kind of a peculiar move. I'm not sure I love it. And I can always play a5, I guess. I don't really want to play a5. But you know, this is a situation where I guess I have to win, so I should kind of just go for it. Did I just blunder? No, I didn't blunder. Okay. Bishop F1. Okay, let's see. So I guess queen does not belong. My queen really should not be on E7. I could have gotten the same position with the much better version. There's knight C4. Okay, knight C5 is actually a move here. And I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to go for it. Let's play a5, prevent him from gaining space with b4. Just f3, logic, very logical move. I'm just going to go here, maybe knight f4. Maybe f5 next move. Let's go here. I guess I'm going to play h5. I also have c6 at some point. I don't know if I should be scared by this or not. I'm going to go here. The b4 I just take. If I get c6 and rook there, I should be fine. I think I'm going to go here to go bishop h6. Maybe knight e6 at some moment. Not in love with my position, though. Definitely not in love with it. I guess I can play bishop c6, maybe. Or bishop h6. I can also go here. so many options. I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn first. Go here. I want to line up something, maybe f6 next move. Complicated position. Wow, he found knight d5 even. Huh, this is tough. Let's go here, I guess. I hope I'm not blundering something here. This is really not going well. Play king g7 here. I'm going to go here. I just have to move quicker. Time is the one thing I do have on my side here. Let's go here. Take a 95, maybe. the bishop on c4 i can always go g5 like right here 
I think I'm going to rotate my bishop maybe to g6. I'll just go here and take maybe. If I can get rook b8 and c6 and I'm probably okay. Still very tricky to play. Wow, he plays h4 even amazing. Incredible stuff. Um, okay, takes. I can take on d4 if I want. I'll also just take on g5 if I want. It's a little bit tricky. I guess I'll just take on g5. Maybe take with the king or the. I guess I'll take with the queen. Should be kind of okay. This is tricky. Go here, cut it off. I really need to get c6 at some point. If I get c6, I should be fine. Maybe even winning. It's actually kind of getting a little bit sketchy because now c6 is a big. I think c6 just wins. Takes, I take. He just trapped his own knight because before he had an idea without the rook in the way. But now the rook cuts the, cuts the diagonal. And now we're going to win. As long as I don't flood this, but I really shouldn't. Go here. And now we just trade the rooks. Now it should be pretty clean. And now I just trade. Kind of misplayed this too. A little bit annoying. I mean, I'm still winning, but kind of annoying to allow this. Okay, I think I just go like... Maybe... What am I doing? Wait a second, let's think. Go here. And now I can just run the pawn. Go C4. I mean, there are many ways to win here. I just find the simplest one. Go here, maybe. Okay, we got the dub. Move along. Quick win. We're on Four out of five, I guess, with that win. So let's watch some other games. And this one, what do we have? We have Onishuk versus Giga Kuparadzi. Giga is actually losing here, I think. There's Rook F5 there, which he missed, I thought. Knight H3. What? How did he miss Knight H3? What? And King F3, what is King F5? I guess you have g5, g4 here. g5. King g5, now white wins. Or this too. e4, king f2, but rook f1. Such bad play. King f3. Takes and king f2, king e2. Takes what? I have nothing. I, I have nothing to say. I don't know what this game is. Is this sub battles? Like, I mean, I literally have no rookie for it. I have, I mean, I have no words for this. I mean, I literally have no words for what happened in this game. Like, okay, like, I get that Black misses Knight H3, okay? You can miss this with one second on the clock, um, and that's fine. But then, like, in this position, like, how do you not go G5, G4? You just go G5, G4, G3. And I'm not even sure if White's winning here, honestly. Um, like, actually, let me put on the lines. I bet White's not—yeah, White's not winning here at all. Yeah, Black's completely fine. 
So it's like that's weird, but then like if, if we we refresh, you go back to like this position. Rook f4, you just take. It's I mean you take and go here, here, here. And maybe it's losing somehow, but I mean here, here, here. And I guess this is winning somehow. Maybe you have king c3, but I mean I'm not sure. Like you still have to go for this regardless. Like Whole game, though, very, very weird. Very, very weird stuff. Thank you to Core Black for the five. Thank you to Guy when even prime. Thank you to Owl D for the prime. Why do these guys not blunder like this against me? Well, I mean, that's, that's of course, the classic thing is that, um, that's the classic thing that I would say is that, like, it, it's, it's funny when you have, um, when someone, it, depending on who they're playing on, like, the, the precision or the, the, the quality of the moves changes. Like, it's, it's like if these guys, these guys are, because they expect me to never blunder, they're going to be much more, um, much more focused, I guess you could say, if, if that's the word, or much more serious about it than than some of these other, than against say these games between between like Onishuk and Giga. Like o Onishuk is a good player, but Giga surely against me is uh, takes it much much differently, treats it much differently. Let's just go B three D four, I guess. We're getting kind of soft pairings at least. I f I feel like this is a soft pairing. Seems like a soft pairing. C5. I'm just going to take because I figure if anything, this should be pleasant for me. I don't know if it actually is, but it seems like it. Like I do it against Carlson or Wesley. Uh, not against Wesley so much, but I mean, everyone kind of has their issues with Magnus. But yeah, it's like so for, but but that is a fair point. That That's a fair point. Um, like if I'm playing this game against Kazakh Fighter, like for example, this move Knight C3, if I was playing Magnus, I would expect Magnus to find Knight E4 and I would not go Knight C3. So this is like, a, this is a perfect example of it. Like if I was playing Magnus, I would expect him to find Knight E4, so I wouldn't play Knight C3. But against this guy, I don't expect him to play it because I assume he's a lower quality player. And so I kind of like, it changes things. So I'm going to go here now, Knight C3. Um, and it's, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. Like that's, that's just like a perfect example. Like based, if I was playing Magnus, I know that he would play 94. So I'd never take this risk, but against this guy, I'm not sure what his quality is. So I don't expect him to find the absolute best move every time. Go here, plant an item B5. Kind of like my position a little bit. So what's going on here? If I take kind of weird, I don't know what's going on. Let's go here. Maybe I have e4. Maybe I have bishop My knight is permanently planted here. Can go bishop f3. I think I should trade here, actually. This makes a lot of sense. Go back. Knight g4. I just go g3. Queen e5. Oh, actually, maybe knight g4 was a good move there. Go... Um, let's go here and put the knight on f1. Actually, let's just play h3 instead. Stop knight g4. Maybe I go here and here. I also have, I also just realized I have knight c3 lurking too to win the pawn. Actually, knight c3 is very dangerous here for black. Magnus probably has had enough chess for today. I mean, obviously. Thank you to Nick Mermaids for the prime. Thank you to Touchpad TV for the three. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, there's no way Magnus would be playing this. Come on. Be serious. I'm playing Nemo. No, it's not. It's not Nemo. What's King F8? That's a, kind of a strange move. What's the idea? Okay, Knight C3, Knight G4 is the question. If I take, check, King F1, check, King E2. Okay, I think knight c3 is winning a pawn, but I have to think for a second. Definitely winning a pawn, but is it the right pawn? Bishop c3, rook queen c3. I'm going to go for it. I, I don't see it, so go for it. Yeah, I saw that, and I think I can just take. Hopefully, I'm not blundering something, but I don't see it, so we'll see. If, I, if, I, if I'm losing, I'm losing, but I don't see it. It was knight h6. That's a strange move. Um, I mean, I assume I can just trade and go, like, rook d1. I mean... 
Actually, maybe I should go 92, 92, 1. Hmm. Let's think. Rook D 1's also a move. No, it's not the move. Let's go here. Knight G1. Yeah, it's actually got... It's kind of a little bit annoying. Let's go here to trade some rooks. Very slightly annoying here, but I think I'm... I think I'm winning. I must be winning somehow with Knight G3. Maybe even Queen D3. And knight g1, what he wants, knight h4, and if I go f4, it's a little bit unpleasant. Uh, if I go like knight g5, knight h4, queen e4, that looks, it actually looks winning, I think. Yeah, let's go for it. I think it's winning. Because now I have knight f3 tricks, too. He checks, I block, knight h4, I go queen e4, hold everything. I think it's winning. And it does it, so I go here. I think I'm just winning. Should just be winning. I'm so good at not seeing... Well, this is just a blunder because I have knight g1. But I can also take and take. Queen h4 actually looks simple and safe. Yeah, it's just simple and safe. I have knight g1. Just sim simple and safe. Thank you to Peter Pan Dance for the six months. And now I'll just check and take, of course. And now I just, like, go... I'll go here, knight g1. Okay, resigns, we get the dub, move along, move on to, uh, we move to five out of six, and we'll watch this game between RD4 and Giga Kuparadzi. One move blunders and FMO can totally happen, yeah. What's going on? White has two bishops and a knight against a rook, a bishop and a knight. It looks like, I mean, black is up a rook for a bishop, but his knight is kind of boxed on the rim here. There are no, no, there are no jumps. Takes... Oh, there's knight c5. Oh, wait, now there's queen c3? Okay, now now black's winning. Okay, big, big miss by uh by white. He had to go knight c5. Okay, so what are the standings? Let's see. A bunch of people. I'm on five out of six. Giga's on six. Andrew actually is someone I haven't been following. Andrew's also on five out of five. So let's see how Andrew's doing. It'll be hard to catch Giga doubtful because there are, there aren't a lot of players. Um, it's really it was so few players. You already see there are, there are very few people. Um, how many people? There are only going to be like five people on six, so it's not it's not impossible at all uh, to to win this. But I can't really afford any more draws. I think if I give up one more draw or I lose, I I have zero chance. So the the margin the margin is very very thin, very thin at the moment. Very very thin margin. How many rounds total? This is uh, 11 rounds. There's still five more rounds. Today is a bad day. Lost 500k. I hope you mean channel points, although maybe you could mean money. After all, the mark is kind of taking a little bit of a dive. Andrew should be doing well here. I think Andrew should be winning. He should be winning because you can get the knight back. If G4, there's knight of 4 you. Andrew's going to win this game. Bishop d4, another nice move by Andrew. Although he has to be careful. There's bishop e8 here. Wait, there's bishop e8. You got to be careful. I didn't like that. Okay, takes. Bishop b7. Bishop b... He ran out of time there? Okay, that's uh weird. But okay, let's, let's move on. See what's happening here. <laughs> Very weird. I don't I don't play I don't play hyper bullet. I, I I I haven't and I won't. I think I played it one time against Andrew. Um I'm counting the days until the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. Uh I need to shine for the 16. Um I will say this. I'm a little bit concerned about the event and whether it's gonna happen, uh, especially with Delta virus and everything that's going on in the US. Not to mention it sounds like they're very limited flights to the United States. So I'm not actually sure it's gonna happen, which is kind of like I don't know. It's um uh, it's it's not it's not good. Let's put it that way. Rook a five, rook, rook d five. Yeah, rook d five and take the pawn. Hey, Justin Tinder date for the three hundred bits. Thank you so much, Justin Tinder date. Appreciate it. 
Even Hikaru Shoes is afraid. No, I, what I'm saying is I'm not sure St. Louis can, is going to hold the event. You, you have a lot of players playing in the World Cup who have to come back. Um, who, who, or players have to go home. Then they have to travel to the U.S. I know that there aren't, like, there aren't endless flights to the United States at this moment. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not sure if it's going to happen. All the players are vaccinated. I know for a fact that all the players are not going to be vaccinated. So um, we'll see. All right, so this game ended. So still, uh, let's see, what do we have? So, okay, so it looks like Andrew and Giga are the only two on six, which is very good news. There are only two people on perfect scores, and we have five rounds to go. So if I just keep winning my games, uh, I am going to have a shot. When's the pineapple suit arriving? I didn't order it yet. I kind of, I was very tired yesterday. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it after my stream today. I did get vaccinated, yes. I got vaccinated about a month, a month and a half, almost two months ago now. Was yesterday a long stream? It was like six hours. Do I think chess should be in the Olympics? No, I don't. I spoke about that yesterday too. Um, no, I don't think it should be. Thank you to a Druid rank for the five months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. But yeah, the problem is I think people are actually, people are getting COVID as well. This is the other problem, even if they've been vaccinated. So it's turning into a bit of a, bit of a real, real mess now. I looked up Hyperbowl and found a video of you versus Daniel Hyperbowl. That must've been, that must've been like four years ago. Cause I just don't play Hyperbowl. I played, I, I played Andrew, maybe like 10 games of Hyper, uh, maybe like three years ago. So if it's, Dan, if I played Daniel and Hyper, it would have been probably like four years ago or something. Uh, it was a real match. I just don't play hyper bullets. I don't think it's chess. I think it's just it's just mouse reaction. That's it. Has nothing to do with the game at all. So yeah. We need our large festival that can be like the Olympics for board games. There is um, there's uh, there's the mind mind games world world uh what do they call it the mind games world championship i think is what they call it and um they have that but also chess has the olympics so okay it's a must-win game so i'm gonna play g6 again at this point there's no reason not to thoughts on simone biles drama i don't know i saw she dropped out or something because of injury but that's i, I don't know anything more than that i'm not really following the olympics I, I can't really get into it not to mention like the whole whole point of the olympics to me is like it's all about the spirit of like everyone's like in it. There's a lot of a lot of fans, and then it's like you see like I, I'm watching the tennis, and they're like playing in front of no one. It's just like I don't know. Somehow that seems very depressing to me. So I just can't get into it. Go here, maybe queen e seven, maybe b six. I guess I'll just go a6, b6, bishop b7, maybe. I don't know which way he's castling. He has two options, and I'm not sure which one. Okay, plays a4. So he's obviously going short. That much is clear. If chess is included in the Olympics, then I might be interested. I don't think it should be in the Olympics. I really just don't think it should be. I mean, I see you open the door, like all, all, all games should be in the Olympics. That's, that's the problem with it. Why though? Because then, then you have to say Scrabble should be in the Olympics. You have to say that, that, that every game under the sun has to be in the Olympics then. This Bishop E4, that's an interesting move. I can play Rook B8 here. I mean, or Rook A7, I guess. A very weird position. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go here. I really don't want to play D5. This is a must win situation. So I don't want to take, I, I don't want to play committal moves super early. I want the time to get low. And then at the right moment, then I'll keep the game going. He plays A5. That's interesting. I can play D5, but even B5 looks fine. I'm obviously going to take and castle at some point. I'm just waiting to see when he, when he castles. That will determine when I castle or play like F5 and castle here. Okay, now he does castle here now. Whoa. Okay, I should castle. I very nearly just slipped there with my mouse as I'm trying to grab the king. Um, I like my position, though. I, I like the position. It looks pretty stable. I can always capture the bishop. I think now I should capture and go c5. It's exactly what I want in a game that I must win. Something in balance, complicated, not a fixed structure, a lot of pieces on the board, all you can ask for. Chess Olympiad is pretty much the Olympics. Yeah, also true. Like, 
if I if I think about a lot of other like games or sports, no other no other sort of game has an Olympiad the way that chess does. Thank you to the anonymous for one thousand bits. Thank you to Grateful Basket for the two months. So to me, I just it doesn't make sense. <laughs> that's isn't that there's some copy pasta right that that's some copy pasta from ages ago uh i like my position here i actually really like it i'm gonna pre-move this because it's a safe pre-move he goes bishop b1 that's an interesting move um i can probably just go queen e7 i'm really not worried about queen d3 because i'll just play like rook d8 or knight f6 even F5 is also a move here. I wonder about F5. But F5 is E4. I don't love it. If I go Rook D8. Or do I want to go Rook E8? Be careful how I play this. F5. F5, E4. I don't want to go F5. Knight F6 is obviously a reasonable move. Go here. So I can take and play off five still. And if e4, I always have like cd4 and e5. Complicated position. I guess I'll pre-move this. Although I maybe I just blundered. Okay, he missed it. I think he should have taken. I think he could have taken and then gone e4. And I might have been in really bad shape. Let's take. I think I got a little bit lucky there. I think I got very lucky. I think if he had taken and gone e4, I might have been in really bad shape. I might have been losing there. You know, Arsenal for the three months, although he missed it, so no need to dwell on it now. Okay, he goes d5. Logical move. And what I want to do is I want to play f5. I don't want to go g4. I think I'm going to put my bishop here and play like rook c8, maybe. Love to put the bishop on g6 to target this pawn. Queen b6 really a threat? It's a move. I don't really buy it. He does it though. I just don't believe it somehow. Maybe it's a good move though. Will rook be seven? I mean, is there a way that I can hold these pawns? <sighs> Feels like there should be some way to do this. I don't want to actually see it, so I'm gonna go here and rook b seven, I guess. here hit the queen it goes back i think i'm gonna drop my bishop back here maybe so i can go like g4 maybe h5 at some moment okay, let's think how do i do this very tough position i'm gonna still go here I'm gonna go rook c8, I guess. Okay, now I'm gonna go g4 and h5. Go here, trade off some rooks. And obviously trade if I want. My knight though on f6 is just so bad. I guess I'll go here. Okay, now I have what I want, kind of. I guess I'll just go like here. It does go knight f5, which I think is kind of a mistake. I think it's a mistake, but it's hard to prove. Take, let's go here. f6, I just take. It does play rook c6, okay. I mean, I have to win the game, so I might as well just go for it. Hmm. Or did I just blunder the game away? Uh, I think I just threw this game. I missed that H5 was hanging in this line. Oh, shoot. Okay, what can I do here? Block. Problem is he he only needs a draw. Um go here. Okay, 
here. Okay, how do I do this? Let's go here. Wait, check and take? You missed that. Got no time either. Okay. Take. I think I just take and now I go back and I'm just winning. Now I just win the game, we go A4 or B3, B2. Okay, I'm going to end up losing a knight, but... Or no, I don't end up losing a knight, I just go here. Okay, we got the dub, we move on. Uh, thank you to burning me with the tier one. Thank you so much. This basically just pins the pins the bishop here. Tough game, very tough game. But we get the win um, when all is said and done. So we move to um, we move on to okay. So Giga won his match. We moved to six out of seven. There are three people on six and a half. So we're still very much in the running. Yeah, that was a close one. I let my time get too low at the end, but I still won. Thank you to Kate Keys for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. My time was too low there at the end, but it's what it is. So yeah. All right, you guys. So we keep keep moving along. We're on we're on six out of seven. Um, it's like it's not it's not it has not been an easy event so far. It's been pretty pretty rough, but still he put up good resistance. But uh, when all was said and done, I mean, I guess I found I found a way. I found a way. He probably ninety three was his big mistake. Uh, the great number is the tie breaks. A actually, Andrew lost to Giga, right? So that's why Andrew's also on six points here. It's 50 moves without a capture to draw, not 30, you guys. Thank you to HK Bar for the two months. Man, I'm not getting the easy pairings today at all. Not getting the pairings I want. Uh, if I win, no, because Giga's, well, assuming someone's going to get to seven and a half. Now we're going to play Min Lei again. Let's go C4, D4. We keep playing this line. Is he going to go Bishop? He might go Bishop G4. Let's see which one he does. He does this one. Okay, so I think H3 and Queen F3 is right. Go bishop d3 and castles here. I think queen e2 is still right. It goes rook d8. Interesting choice. I mean, I think a3 is always a move here. f4 is also a move. Bishop d2 is also a move here. c5 and f4 is what I did last time, and it was a draw. So I think... I can play f4 here. Um, I'm thinking way too long, though. I mean, e4 is just a small advantage, but it's not what I want for this game. So let's do something different. I'm going to go here and take. Uh, now, actually, wait. Now, though, wait. Now I have c5 and f4, though. I misplayed this order. Because now I have b4 and a3. I'll pre-move because it's the safe capture. He's not going to take, but... Andrew was winning and gave the win away. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. So Andrew was winning and messed it up. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate for Andrew. Hmm. Okay, I go f4, of course. Like, b6, b4, I mean, this should be very slightly better with b5 and rook b1 coming here. There's g6. I guess he wants knight h5, but I don't understand what he's doing exactly. Go a4, b5, of course, next move. I mean, knight h5, I go g4. I don't really like what he's doing. 
I mean, I assume I just keep pushing. No reason not to. Plays a5. I'm going to go b6 here. This bishop is kind of dead on b8, I assume. I'm going to go g4, maybe? I mean... Yeah, I guess I'll just go g4. If he wants to play e5, I'll take and go queen g2. I mean, he can try to strike with e5, but I think, I think I'm covering enough here. Oh, he goes for this one. Okay, so he does this one. Okay, I can play rook c1 and rook b1, maybe. I also have g5, but I think I'm just going to go... This should be winning if I play this correctly. Maybe I misplayed this, though. Right, I feel like I misplayed this. It was queen c7. I thought he'd go the other way. Um, don't really want to play g5. He wants bishop a7, I presume. So I think the way to play this is he wants e5. So I'm going to go here in knight e2. Just take. Okay, goes queen e7. Move my knight back. He has three pawns for the uh, for the piece here. So it's not, not clear cut what's going on. But I mean, I feel like I should be better if I play this precise. Although I already feel like I'm starting to misplay this somehow. It already feels kind of wrong. I'll go here, maybe bishop h4. I think I missed something. I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed something when he took on c5. I feel pretty confident that I missed something very, very good when he did that. If I take e as bishop h2, of course I won't do that. I guess I'll just go like and play h4 maybe. I know that I should be fine here, but it's not. I feel like I've done something wrong in this game. Go here. What's up with the Simone stuff? I only glanced. I don't know. Someone mentioned that to me in chat, and I have no idea what they're referring to. But I assume what she dropped out or something. There's some big drama around it. I just saw she dropped out because of the injury. That was the only thing that I saw. I didn't see anything else on the topic, but I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe there's something more to it. Play h5 and go g5. Um, let's go eight. Uh, h5 gives him a queen g5, but I have queen f4 maybe. Probably I should have gone g5. I have a feeling h5 was a mistake. So that's exactly what he did with knight e6 and like knight, g, knight g5 coming. Very bad play by me. Literally took a winning position out of this opening, and I'm probably going to find some way to lose now. Go here. It goes back there. Bishop h4 maybe is a funny move here, but I don't want to do it. Problem is a draw is no good for me, and I think Minlay knows that a draw is bad for me, so I kind of... I'm in a situation where he... For him, winning probably is not as much of a concern. So, like, he can kind of... He knows that I have to gamble here, and I can't make a draw, which kind of is annoying. Gives up a pawn. I might take it. I hope this doesn't lose. Okay, it goes d4. Logical move. Um, to take on e3, maybe. Wait, but if I... I feel like I should have some kind of tactic soon. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to take and take. That's my idea, at least. No rook d2. I figure I can sack. Or go rook d1. But bishop b3 or something. I'm actually not sure it's winning. So I think I'm just going to... I'm going to stabilize or try to stabilize this. Oops. Okay, let's just go here, I guess. I mean, I still have knight g6 somewhere. Okay, it goes there. I assume... Well, still rook d1 does, doesn't... Really work, unfortunately. I do have knight g6, maybe. I really want to take, but I don't know if it wins. That's the problem. How do I do this? I just need to find a move. Oh, let's just go here. Playing terrible chess at the moment. I also have no time.
Oh, I had queen e3 there maybe also. Wait. I've got no time. There's just nothing I can do. Probably a meet somewhere. Oh, he blundered. I win. He blunders. Oh my gosh. Thank you to Hungarian Spy for the tier one. Thank you to Mango Jassy for the 15 months. He just hung his he just hung his bishop on D4. Somehow I spotted that. That was insane. Terrible, terrible game. Considering how winning did he have a force check? Oh my god, did he have bishop h3? Wait, or bishop h2? Wait, did he have where was the where was the force mate? I didn't see the checkmate. Was it here? Wait, where did he have the checkmate? I'm sure he had a mate, obviously, but let's see. Where was the mate? Where was the checkmate? Okay. Yeah, like this was just completely winning right here, right? I mean. Yeah, G4 is not best, but he sacks, takes, takes. Yeah, it's 1.3. Anyway, we keep going, whatever. Um, Now it's all gone, but anyway, we keep going. Let's see. So where did he... Knight G6 never worked. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, Rook takes H4 is just... Oh my god. Oh dear. I didn't even see Rook H4. Oh my gosh. That is so bad. And amazingly, he didn't see it either because he should have just repeated and then spotted the move. But he didn't see it either. That's what's hilarious. And Rook H4 is minus 27. <laughs> Minus 27.1 after Rook takes H4. Jeez. Oh, man. Minus 27.1. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, we got the win, so it's what it is. All right, you guys. I think we have a six-minute break after this round, so I'm going to take a short break, go use the rush, and we're going to come back and try to try to play better chess as we head into the, head into the home stretch. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so what, what what what's happening? What is this? What is the situation? So we're on seven out of eight. Um, how much should I pay Minlay to lose? Very funny, you guys. Anyway, once again, you guys, it's Title Tuesday. It is sponsored by G Fuel. So make sure to go to um go to the G Fuel website. Use use code Hikari. You can get up to thirty percent off on various flavors. Again, fuel up before you go to work, before you're streaming, whatever you're doing. Uh, get that energy energy boost that you need to get through the day. All right, so what's happening? We have um, seven points out of eight. Four of us on, uh, six of us rather, or five of us rather on seven. One on seven and a half, one on eight. So Giga versus um, versus Champ 2005, they have to play. Uh, if I keep winning, I'm gonna have to play one of them before the end of the uh, before the end of the end of the tournament. So um, so it's pretty good, as good as it could be. Thank you to Kyle Leak for the prime. Well, I mean, the thing is, if I win my next game, I'm going to play the winner of their game. So, uh, basically, I just need to, I just need to, um, I just need to keep performing. That's it. What does the G stand for? Gra gravitas, right? <laughs> you do, you do pre rolls, mid rolls, and live ads. What? Uh, G Fuel is a sponsor. Uh, ads I'm required to run because of my contract with uh, with TSM. So that's completely different. Who? Where did I lose points? I drew two games early on in the event. Giga Fuel, Giga Fuel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, last week, I finished second in Title Tuesday. I feel like the momentum. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah. No, I feel pretty good. We don't mind true supporters. Don't mind ads, etc. You have to eat. True. Anyway, all right, so we're on the break. So I'm probably going to play Mechanic. Again, my tie breaks are not wonderful because I've played a lot of weaker players. Uh, against Giga, a draw is not good enough, but I'm not going to play him until round 10. Like, let's say I win this one and he wins his game, then I play him and I have to beat him. Uh, but if I beat him, I will win first place. Thank you to Shammer for the five bucks.
it's funny actually i had to go downstairs to use the restroom on this last break and um, i saw uh, andy or, or reggie he was actually playing league um he was playing league on his uh you know what let's go for it he's playing league he's playing league on um he was playing league downstairs which is pretty funny oh no machanic's gonna play a dry line oh i thought he would try to beat me because we both need to win need a danny for the three months oh let's go here It's D4, so I'm going to take, take, and play A4. I have this against Shocker in something recently. C5 is wrong, I believe. I think C5 is supposed to be wrong. Is it Rook D1? Not supposed to be right, I don't believe. Because there's no knight d4 in this pawn. A6 is super weak here. And at some point, I think I have knight she, queen c2 and knight g5 to check me in as well. It goes rook b8. Another very strange move that I don't understand. I can play queen c2 here. I think I'm quite a bit better in this position. I don't know how much better, but with like knight g5 and queen c4. Maybe I'm supposed to go knight g5 right there. Actually, but h6 I can take and go knight f6 anyway. So it's kind of dangerous here for black to play. Very, very dangerous, I would say. see what he does if I get knight g5 I think I'm, I'm much better here he also has this bishop that's completely misplaced like it looks good here but it's actually it's uh targeting nothing it's just targeting empty squares so this bishop is kind of locked here and I think it's kind of dangerous okay I have knight g5 now of course um let's see knight g5 which knight do I put there actually I have to figure out which knight belongs there I mean, which knight do I want to... I guess I, I really do want to go with this knight, but takes... Queen e5, knight f6, queen f6, check, king f8. I don't have a win. So I guess I have to go with this knight. It was knight f8. But now I feel like they're tactics. I'm just... I'm going to be up a pawn here. It's just a question of which pawn. If I take, take, rook c8, queen c4, takes queen f7. It feels like I should be winning somehow. I don't know why, but I just I have that feeling that I should be winning. Eight queen d eight. Bishop c five, rook c eight, queen b three. Eh. Oh, he's queen c seven and queen e four. I'm gonna trust that my calculation is right here. I'm gonna trust that this is winning. He takes with the rooks. Of course I take. Queen b7, that doesn't do anything. I just go back. Because the h6, now I have knight e4, and he can't sack because I cover the ice skater on d1. Okay, this also doesn't look right. Um, this definitely isn't right. I just have to find the right way to win this. I'm definitely better here. I just have to play it precisely now. Queen b3 is actually a strong move, I think. Let's play this. Because now I'm threatening knight f7, and he has to deal with the pin as well. I think I'm winning. It goes d3. Okay, I'm just going to go here to hit the pawn. This looks winning unless I'm missing something. But I also have knight f7 here.
see what he does. I don't think he has any... Okay, he does play that. So now I take, of course. And now he takes, and I take. I assume queen c4 is just winning here. Let's just go here, hit the pawn, hit the knight. Now five. 91 d2, knight f3 looks winning. Be careful how I play this. I think this is just winning. Wait, 91 takes, knight d3, queen e2. Rook... Okay, I have to be careful. 91. I mean, I, feel, I know I'm winning here. I just found the right idea. Let's see. Um, 81, queen e5, knight d3, queen e2. Maybe I just go h3 or something. I think actually, yeah, I'm just going to play h3 so I can play queen g4. Let's go here, force queens off, and now this, this should be winning. Go here because now I have a fork. It's queen h5. Go here, maybe. Did I just blunt. Wait, wait, did I just blunder? Oh no, I might have just blundered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go g3. I just take. I think I'm winning. Uh, that's a free queen. Thank you very much. And we got the dub. We got the dubs. That was a free queen. Thank you to Koozie Nightmare for the four months. We got the win. Uh, let's watch Giga's game. See if he's going to win. This is probably the most important game left. What's happening? Giga is going to lose, it looks like. Giga is probably losing here. There's Bishop A5. Giga is going to lose. So I'm going to play Ronak for all the, all the marbles here. We're going we're gonna to play Ronak for all the marbles. Just a7, and then you, you have rook d8. Or this. Yeah, they both work. King d3 or king d2. Okay, so... um, So, yeah. So, so Ranok wins. So, actually, I'm going to play Ranok, and I'm going to be in a situation where if I win... In, if I beat Ranok, I'm probably going to win the event. Uh, so, it's really, really close right now. Of course, I have terrible tie breaks, which doesn't help the ma help matters. But, yeah, now I get to play Ranok, where a win means that I have a, I'm have i going to be leading. As opposed to, say, like, Giga wins the game, and I beat him, then I'm just tied for first. So it's, it's, we got a shot. After escaping a mate in seven, we should win this event. <laughs> yeah. Round X had Wani as a champion 2005. Yeah. This isn't Leech so you'll beat Ronak. Okay, you guys, relax. Take a deep breath. Although I'm going to get black, which is not great. I'm going to get black against Ronak. So be interesting. Have to figure out what I want to play. Yeah, he was banned for cheating on Lee Chess. Um, he was banned. So, you know, it's it's what it is. It's what it is. But we're we're in position. A after the start, it was definitely not not what I could not have expected anything better. So, yeah. Giga still has, yeah, he still has chances, I guess. Like if I beat Ronak, of course. I mean, but but like the thing is, I'm in a position where if I win, I'm gonna I'm I'll, I'm gonna win the event now, which is considering the two draws is not you know it's what more could I ask for? All right, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna play against him because I I assume that I have to play Ronak. I mean, I guess theoretically I could play Giga and Zubov could play Ronak, but I think I think I have to play Ronak here. How many lines do I think I've uh, memorized? I don't know, A Pringle. You've asked that like for the last hour. I, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Anyway, um, yeah. Hope my day is going well. It's going fine. It's going fine. Yeah, it's going reasonably well. Talking from Brazil. Love your streams, bro. Keep the good work. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. How many games are still going? Still have a couple of games going. Let's see. Okay, so white wins this game. Okay, so still one game remaining in this round. This this should be over pretty soon. Rookie, okay. 
<laughs> okay, white wins by resignation, I guess. I guess Flag actually resigns there. That's kind of funny. Um, very funny. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to play Ronak here in the, in, the, in the final showdown. Or no, I get Giga. Okay, what do I do against Giga here? Do I go for broke? I assume I... Ah, so I guess Zubov gets Ronak. That's kind of annoying. Thank you to Sova KB for the tier one. Thing is, I can play E5 and draw, but you know what? I don't want to... You know what? I think... What do I want to play to win? No, I'm going to play... Let's play center counter. Let's do something different. Go for broke means, like, I could play solid and probably draw against Giga. Go here and here. Actually, I feel like Giga and I have had this position a lot already. We've had this position many times. Bishop B4, and now I'm supposed to castle next move. Very, very dry and standard. A3, I think. Castles is still correct. And then he castles, and then I take and go queen c7. Go here. But go for broke means play something unusual to try and create an imbalance and win the game. That's what it means. Problem is Giga, actually. I think he's happy. He's happy with a draw here. That's the problem. He's actually playing to flatten the board. He's, this is a very flat position here. Although that is a little bit um, kind of wrong, but maybe not wrong enough. I can sack an exchange, but I don't want to. Let's, um, I don't want to play this, though. Ugh. Go here, and knight b6, maybe? Maybe he might even just take here, honestly. A draw doesn't really mess up my tie break, but what it does do is it means that Giga has no chance of winning because he already lost the champ. Is that hanging? Wait, 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 wait a second. He just hung a pawn. Wait, he just hung a pawn. Takes, I take, and I have rook c8. I have rook c8. He missed this. Okay, now we're in business, boys. We're in business. We're in it to win it. We are definitely in it. Oh, did I have bishop a4 there, maybe? Maybe I did. I don't know. At any rate, we're in it to win it. So, okay, let's go. I guess let's go here to hit the bishop and then just drop the bishop back to like g6. Come back. I shouldn't have allowed this, though. Kind of tragic to have. Uh, maybe I missed. Let him get this bishop there. Whatever. It's still a pawn. It's going to be hard to win this game. It's going to be very, very hard to win this. I really don't want to play a6, but I actually don't have any other moves here, kind of. Go here. Try to open this up, at least. There's b3. I guess I just go back here. I can still take with the queen. It's going to be hard to win this. There's rook c5. A kind of interesting move. I just take. I have to somehow get my queen in here. So I think I'm going to go here and bring the queen in, maybe. There's b4. Okay, so he's just basically trying to stabilize and draw this h3 um so how do i do this okay i think first thing is i bring my queen in okay. I'm, I'm at some point i'm gonna have to sack material here so let's just go let's just go for it if he checks and takes so be it but again a draw is not going to win me anything here so i have to go kind of for broke again Plays queen e5. I can obviously trade. I don't want to. I'm just going to go here. I'll let him check because it's the same thing. I go king h7. Okay, he plays f3. That's interesting. Oh, no. Do I, am I, do I just have no way to survive? Uh, oh, that's just lovely. I think I just messed this up completely. I go here. I'm trying to do something. It's only one pawn, but the problem is it's not even the pawn. It's the opposite color bishop. So that's the, that's the problem with the whole position. Oh, maybe I had king h7 there as well. Check. Maybe bishop f1. We have seven, queen g5, g4, queen d2. 
Well, if it's a draw, it's a draw, but I mean, I can't lose. It goes there. Now, do I go to D2 or not is also a question. I have F5, maybe? So here. Yeah, he plays there, and now it's, it's going to be a draw. There's really nothing I can do here. I'm going to go F5. It's very committal and probably bad, but I'll try it. There's nothing I can do to win this game. It goes there. I guess I go. Just a draw. Ah, <sighs> frustrating. Not it's not so much cursed opponent. It's just I always get black against him every game. Can't recall the last time I got white against him in a game in Title Tuesday. And he always plays the draw. There's nothing I can do. I did allow Queen G3, which is kind of stupid, but it's still, it's still a draw, but. It's a draw no matter what I do. I just, yeah, I just have to make the draw here. It's no, no nonsense here. Frustrating. I need a hedge creep for the 14 months. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Ranak drew his game. Oh, really? Okay, so maybe I have some outside chance. This is with increments, so there's no way for him to win. I, I mean, I probably had some, maybe I had some chance around. Let me look at this live analysis. It's a draw, so I have chances. Yeah, there's probably some chance. I don't know. Never anything much, though. It's already kind of hard. I did this. Queen b5. I guess queen b5 is the move that I had to play. This and this. Oh, there's Rook C five. Yeah, it's be it's funny because it's better for me, but it's not um it's it's better, but it's not it's not actually ever winning. Kind of frustrating that he blunders a pawn and still it's just never much. It's never very much, and now already you can tell that the bar is just going all the way down. Playing for the draw with white. Actually, the funny thing is he always plays for the draw with white, but usually it works out for him because usually like. Usually, like last week, I end up trying too hard to create something, and then then I end up blundering. But there's just nothing I could do. It was just opposite. It was opposite color bishops. It was an extra pawn, but opposite color bishops. I couldn't. I couldn't win. It happens. Anyway, we have a shot still, I guess. Although probably my tie breaks are bad. Oh no, maybe my tie breaks are good. Actually, my tie breaks are actually my tie breaks are actually the best. Okay, so actually, if I beat Ronick, I win the whole thing. So it's it's okay. It's okay when all is said and done. It's okay, actually. If I win the last round, I'm going to win because somehow my tie breaks in the, at the end of the day are good. You need a Mictor for the Prime and Elena for the Prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, okay, so I can't complain then because somehow, even though I drew the game, I'm in it where, like, if I win the last one, I'm going to win. He had a win after Bishop D3 on move 42. Oh, that's, I'm not surprised if he had some chance to complicate or win or something there. But he was already so set on drawing the game that there was no doubt. Well, I mean, don't forget it was plus 27 for Minlay. The game against Minlay was plus 27. Oh, you think I'm going to play Zubov? Oh, you think I play Zubov and Onishuk plays Champ? Oh, that would be hilarious if somehow I don't play Ronak here. I have to play Ronak, no? 
I guess it's true. Zub Zubov could play. Um, or Onishuk could play. Could could play. Uh, could play Raonic. That'd be really funny. Tybrick is yeah. Actually, Tybrick is really close here. True. I I'm not gonna be happy though. Yeah, Raonic has Tybricks, of course, because he has a better score, which is why whoever plays him has to beat him. Um, but we'll see. Who is champ 2005? That's Raonic Sadwani. He is a junior from um from India. He's about 15 or 16 years old. Magnus drew plus 152 against Ronak. True, but I mean, it's it's all relative. Okay, I get it. I get the pairing. Okay, you know, it's it's round 11. Let's go for it. Let's go for the E4. No slow chess, just all in. Normally, I might play knight F3, but I'm going to play I'm gonna play E4. I'm going to go for it here. Let's go for it. Okay, is he going to play I could be an Ein und Berliner? He's probably going to play a Berliner, right? He's going to play the Berliner. What do I want to play? I want something that's complicated, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play... I'm going to do this one. It's not the best one, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to play my old line. Something very slow and very grindy. See what? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, play C6. Don't believe C6 is correct. C6 is definitely not the right move. Take, go here. I mean, I have e5. I also can play a3 here. I'm going to play a3 just so that I have e5 here. Because he has some b5 and stuff that I don't like. I can obviously go e5. I don't really love e5, but is it bad? Unclear. Very unclear. Very, very unclear. I also just play knight d2. But then bishop g4. Okay, I'm gonna, I, you know what? I need to win this game. A draw is no good, so I should play for... I should play whatever I can to complicate the situation. Anything to make it messy, even if it's objectively bad, because I must win this game. Nothing, nothing else is going to suffice here. So I should try to make this messier, as messy as I humanly can. So here, maybe knight f1, knight g3. I'm not happy with my position either, but it's what it is. You can't, you can't always get what you want in life. Let's go here. Plays a5 as expected. I'm gonna go knight g3, maybe queen d2. I need to get f4 in somehow. Let's go here. Maybe b4. Maybe just c3, depending. Let's see. I do have b4 here, but I don't like it. Play knight h2 is kind of actually this is very. I think queen b6 was a big mistake by Ronak. Like maybe a really big mistake. Uh, I think I. I have just f4 and takes. Okay, he's going to take. I'm going to go f5 and queen c1. I'm going to lose something. I guess queen b4. Still a very tough position to play. Take. I think I'll go here. I gotta get my rook in somehow. 92 or something. He offers a draw. I mean, he, he wants a draw, right? I mean, I don't blame him. Should have brought my king up or played 92. What is a wait a4 is a mistake or is it maybe not wait, i'm gonna bring my king in i think ronak misplayed this a little bit if i get my king over i'm not sure that he's actually i think he's in trouble here if i get my king over i think this is i think this is okay for me i just have to find the right order maybe it's still a draw wait let's go here and hit the pawn oh, he's got knight f8 back oh the knight f4 Still very tricky. It goes G5. I kind of expected that. Very hard to play this for a win. I think I have to go back. I don't want to go back, but I think I have to. 
How do I do this? So my bishop on my bishop on a two is so bad here. Problem is nothing suffices except to win here. So I, I guess you know, like I'm not gonna draw the game. If 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 I lose the game, I lose it. But I'm I'm I refuse to make a draw here. So I'm gonna do everything I can to keep it going, even if it means I lose the game. Cause a lot cause a draw gets me no money anyway. So see if I can somehow trick him. I want to go c3 and bishop c2. Still though, very hard. A draw doesn't do anything for me. So you know what? If this loses, this loses. But let's go for it. If this loses, this loses. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for it. Because a draw just doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form here. A D4 next move, maybe? It's actually, I mean, it's it's edgy. It's very edgy here. E6. Good D4 and take, I guess. Oh, I missed Rook C4. That, is that a good move, though? Wait a second. I take and check. Wait a second. This is actually very tricky again. I might be winning here. I think I just... Hey, because I have rook a7. I have e6 also. Oh, I had e6 first. I might have missed a win with e6 there. Good check, though. This is close. I think I'm winning here. If he goes here, I take, take, and I fork him. I think I'm winning. He's also down 30 seconds. I have rook a8, rook c4, e7. I think I'm winning. Of course, I go e7. I have rook a8. I think I'm going to win. I'll pre move it because it's a safe pre move. Okay, now this is winning. I just need to be smart about how I play it. Check. Now, I know king d2 is winning here, but do I have a way to keep the pawn? Let's just go here and c6, maybe. I check, and this must be winning, right? No, this has to be winning. Go here. Go here, blockade. And we win the game. Got the dubs. We win. Thank you, JJ Avadia, for the prime. Thank you, Art Artemio Felix, for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Got the dub. Got the win. Hopefully, we win the event. We'll see. Okay, I win my game. Yes, and it's over. It's over. We win. Giga Giga won his game, so he gets to nine and a half two, and we win. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Somehow we win. We win the event. Yeah, we got the dubs. Big dub. Big dub. Yeah, happens. It happens. Sometimes you get lucky, even when you don't play your best shots. But we'll wait to make sure. But yeah, based on the results, it's uh, there's me and Giga. Giga gets to nine and a half, but he's going to be in second second place again. Yeah. So basically, in this event, I survived. Is this sorry? What did you guys say about the promotion square? Um, do I win as a promotion square as a dark square? Well, the pawn's not on the edge. The, the only time this color the color of the square matters is if it's on the edge. It has to be on either the A or the H file. If it's the G file, it doesn't matter because you have space to move the king and the bishop. Um, so that's kind of the that's kind of the thing, is it, it makes it makes a difference. That's what he gets for always drawing. Yeah, buying the Dubai Mansion when? Yeah, true. Every Tuesday, hundreds of title players come together and Hikaru always wins, right? Can we go shopping? Um, we can go shopping for a little bit, sure. Sure. I mean, if you guys want, if you guys want to go shopping, where do you want to go shopping? But let's make sure we win the event first. But thank you to Drewia for the two. But I'm pretty sure we do win. Thank you to Flagness Maldson for the gifted sub. Thank you so much to Flagness Maldson. Did I win because the scores are tied? Yeah, but the tiebreaker, I have a big tiebreak edge. I mean, I have like an eight, seven point tiebreak edge. There's no way that once the scores are tallied, 
that Giga will cash. If it was like one point, maybe it could swing, but seven points, I don't think that's going to switch. Thank you to Steve O'Word for the four months. Thanks so much. So, yeah, we, we get the win. It was very, uh, very, very, very tough. Yeah. Great people's setups. Is there, is there a link for that? I don't mind. Why does he have 60? He has a, he has a bossly tie break. Because I think he played all the top players. And he won all the games in a row. So that's, that's why. So, yeah. Round X, Sad, Sajwani. Okay, very funny. Um, but yeah, we got the win. And it's, uh, it's, it's all, all good at the end of the day. All good. Um... It's a good prelude to malt water. Yeah, hopefully. It's uh it's very, very good. What is the prize of $750, assuming I win? But there's yep, and there you guys go. There you have it. And we win title Tuesday once again. We score nine and a half points out of eleven. Maybe not the best performance ever. Um, but we finish. Thank you to GWTBC for the seven for the seven months, but nine and a half out of eleven. Giga Cooperazzi also gets nine and a half out of eleven as well. But I have a, a big tiebreak edge. I'm not sure. I'm not actually, why do I have a big tiebreak edge? I wonder, is it, did I play Raunak and he didn't? Although he, he, did he play, did he not play Raunak? I didn't lose any games. No, I drew three games. Can you get a silver chicken for the gifted sub? Did, did Giga play Raunak or not? Because that's kind of weird that it's such a big discrepancy. He didn't? Okay. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, Giga lost to Raunak. That's probably why. Yeah, if Giga lost to Raunak, that makes sense why he um why his tiebreaker is so much lower. 